If you have ever struggled with multiple LLM providers, inference optimization, observability around your AI applications, this new tool TensorZero which is an open source LLM gateway might be of help. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video we are going to install this TensorZero with multiple LLM providers including the local ones and we will see how exactly this works. It is an open source LLM gateway written in Rust that provides a unified API for accessing multiple LLM providers like OpenAI, Anthropic and others with sub millisecond latency overhead. It automatically stores all inference data and feedback in a ClickHouse database for observability. It supports built-in A-B testing between different models and prompts and includes features for prompt optimization and fine-tuning based on real usage data. The system consists of three main components which I will talk later on but for now let's try to get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. If you are also looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description plus I am also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Now for the installation part what I am going to do, I am going to use one OpenAI based model and secondly I am going to use Olama based model. If you don't know what these two are just go to my channel and search about them. I already have covered them in lots of videos. Let me quickly uh, install this Olama. So just go to olama.com, grab this line from here for Linux. Similarly if you are using Windows, Mac or um, whatever operating system there is, you can simply use that accordingly so while it installs let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are matrix matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as a b tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and you will find the link to their website in video's description now while that downloads let's go to the models in olama Maybe I'll just go with the tool ones, it doesn't matter which you select. And then there are various options which you can go with like 1.7 and that sort of stuff. So you see, these are all the quants available. Let's, for the purpose of this, go with a smallish model. So I'm just going to grab this model from Olama's website, the Quen 3. This is Alibaba's celebrated model. And our Olama is installed. You can also quickly check Olama list. Nothing is running. So I'm just going to run this Olama 3. Point, uh, Olama 3, Quen 3, 1.7 billion. It's a small model. It has downloaded it and then it is going to verify the checksum and then we should be good then. There you go. So it is verifying the checksum. And the model is all running and stuff so i'm just going to exit from here if you do olama list our model is all good also let me show you my uh, gpu card which is a bit high for like uh, for this video but i was already using it so i said why not so it's a nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram courtesy masked compute it's a spot instance which is very very cheap okay now our olama is installed next up we need to uh, configure our api key for openai because i will be using two models to show you this gateway and if uh, you're also following along you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your openai's api key which is a paid option so let me set my key and clear the screen Okay, next up, let me create a working directory for TensorZero and CD into it. Okay, now one of the prerequisite of this tool is that you should have Docker installed. So make sure that you have some recent or latest version of Docker installed. I already have it. And if you don't know how to install it, just search my channel. I already have done a very simple to follow video around it. The good thing is that they also provide you this docker compose file which you can readily download and i already have downloaded it now as you can see here okay now let me create a config directory and then let me open this thing in vs code and i will be creating few files and i will be explaining it 
uh, what we are doing this might sound bit uh, i would say different but once i explain everything and then we will summarize it and you will get the full idea what is happening here so in that config directory i have created this tensor zero dot toml file which primarily is showcasing <clears throat> how can we do the a b testing so we will shortly be installing the tensor zero but if you look at this file we are using two models one is from openai's gpt4 or mini and the second one is the locally running olama based coin 3 1.7 billion parameter one and then you see that weight is 0.5.5 what it means is that we are routing the traffic 50 50 between openai and our olama based model so this is what it is doing so let me take you back to my terminal and let's run docker compose up from the root of the repo where we have downloaded that docker file and it is going to download all the required images and it is going to run it on our local system so let's wait and everything is started and looks healthy now we can also test it out let's go to the browser and maybe access it in our local host the ui at port 4000 there you go so tensor zero is at the moment running with our two models okay but i'm also going to show you how to test it quickly now in order to see in this section all we need to do is to just make the api call and you can see that i am just accessing it uh, api endpoint and i'm just asking it to maybe write a haiku about technology it is working and it has randomly selected this open ai one and for instance if you run this again it is going to randomly select this time you see it selected olama variant so previously it selected open ai and then it is uh sometime i think maybe it is using round robin i'm not sure but one thing is for sure that it uses uh 50 50 endpoint access for your model and you can have as many as you like um, now one thing i have noticed around latency is that when you use olama based models there is a latency and interestingly enough as you can see it is running locally i think the reason why it is happening it is doing some network mapping between the docker container and the local host so i think that is where they need to improve this a bit now let's go to this um, dashboard let me reload it i think i have started it yet so i have reloaded the page and this time it worked and you can see that uh, it primarily provides you the observability so we for example if you go to the inference these are the inferences which we have done one with the open ai variant and the other one is olama variant for instance if i click on open ai it tells you all about this that how many tokens uh, input output tokens and then how much time did it take this is crucial for your ai powered application especially in the production environment um, similarly you can see that there are various episodes which you can check how many uh, sessions you have established and all that stuff if you have used any functions and how many times they have been used and you can define different functions as i just use this sample generate high one you can have your own custom ones and then um, it also provides you a very i would say basic sort of functionality functionality around supervised fine tuning not really um, very hi-fi but still good enough for simple tasks which you can use but i think mainly this is very useful in order to check out what exactly uh, is the latency and the input output tokens around your application which is being served by this llm in gateway so i hope that this was useful if it was and if you like the content please like the video share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching